The CMA announced today that Microsoft acquiring Activision Blizzard is approved and Microsoft is doing exactly that. There are a lot of emails to go through, a lot of press releases to read, but this deal is done. It has happened. Microsoft has acquired Activision Blizzard. We're not going to waste any time and get right into it. First things first, Activision Blizzard King joins Xbox. This is a trailer we'll watch a little bit later. But here is the official press release from Phil Spencer, welcoming the legendary teams at Activision Blizzard King to Team Xbox. We love gaming, we play games, we create games, and know firsthand how much gaming means to all of us as individuals and collectively as a community. As of today, we officially welcome Activision Blizzard and their teams to Xbox. They are the publishers of some of the most played and most beloved franchises in gaming history across console, PC, and mobile. From Pitfall to Call of Duty, World of Warcraft to Overwatch, Candy Crush Saga to Farm Heroes Saga, their stories, their studios have pushed the boundaries of gaming for players around the world. I've long admired the work of Activision, Blizzard, and King and the impact they've had on gaming, entertainment, and pop culture. Whether it was late nights spent playing the Diablo 4 campaign with friends from start to finish, gathering the entire family in the rec room for our weekly Guitar Hero night, or going on an epic streak in Candy Crush, some of my most memorable gaming moments came from experiences their studios have created. It is incredible to welcome such legendary teams to Xbox. As one team, we'll learn, innovate, and continue to deliver on our promise to bring the joy and community of gaming to more people. We'll do this in a culture that strives to empower everyone to do their best work, where all people are welcome and is centered on our ongoing commitment of gaming for everyone. We are intentional about inclusion in everything we do at Xbox, from our team to the products we make and the stories we tell to the way our players interact and engage as a wider gaming community. To that, together, we'll create new worlds and stories, bring your favorite games to more places so more players can join in and will engage with and delight players in new innovative ways in the places they love to play, including mobile, cloud streaming, and more. Players have always been the center of everything we do, and as we grow, we'll continue to keep players at the heart of it all. We'll continue to listen to your feedback, build a community where you can be yourself, where developers can do their best work and continue to make really fun games. As promised, we will also continue to make more games available in more places, and that begins now by enabling cloud streaming providers and players to stream Activision Blizzard games in the European economic area, a commitment made to the European Commission. Today, we start the work to bring beloved Activision Blizzard and King franchises to Game Pass and other platforms. We'll share more about when you can expect to play in the coming months. We know you're excited, and we are too. For the millions of fans who love Activision Blizzard, and King Games, we want you to know that today is a good day to play. You are the heart and soul of these franchises, and we are honored to have you as part of our community. Whether you play on Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo, PC, or mobile, you are welcome here and will remain welcome, even if Xbox isn't where you play your favorite franchise. Because when everyone plays, we all win. We believe our news today will unlock a world of possibilities for more ways to play. Thank you for the ongoing support. We have so much more to come in the months ahead. I'm excited for the future and cannot wait to share it with you. Now, what's really interesting is uh, the FTC's case does still loom in the coming months. But now that this has been approved by the CMA and everywhere else in the world, it's going to look especially bad that the FTC is still pursuing this given the circumstances. Now, one of the things he brought up was inclusion. And actually, there is a, a press release or email going around directly from Microsoft. I don't know where who found it first, but here is a letter from Bobby Kotick to all Activision employees about how his involvement will continue at the company. Team, today marks a milestone in our company's celebrated history. Combining with Microsoft will bring new resources and new opportunities to our extraordinary teams worldwide. It will also enable us to deliver more fun, more joy, and more connection to players than ever before. This moment is possible because of your efforts over four decades to innovate, inspire, and achieve. 
When Brian Kelly and I began this journey in 1991, we intended to build a company that would have great impact and lasting value. Your tireless work and unwavering commitment to excellence enabled us to do just that. In the 1980s, we pioneered independent third-party game development with Pitfall, River Raid, and Kaboom. In the 1990s, we united the world with online multiplayer games like Mech Warrior, Warcraft, and Starcraft. I played a lot of Starcraft. In the 2000s, we introduced Call of Duty, which became one of the most successful entertainment franchises in history. We also introduced Guitar Hero and Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, which entered popular culture in ways few video games ever had have in the 2010s we debuted candy crush saga which to date has been downloaded more than 5 billion times and contributed to our total worldwide players being 50 percent female your dedication is what makes it possible for us to continually push envelopes break records and delight players amid the uncertainty of the last 21 months you've remained focused as always on serving our players and supporting each other I have long said that I am fully committed to helping with the transition. Phil has asked me to stay on as CEO of Activision Blizzard King, reporting to him, and we have agreed that I will do that through the end of 2023. We both look forward to working together on a smooth integration for our teams and players. Brian and I couldn't be more excited for the next chapter of Activision Blizzard King. We now join one of the most successful global companies poised for unprecedented opportunities to connect the world through our games. As part of Microsoft, we will be even better together, Bobby. So Bobby Kotick's out. He's got a few more months going, but uh, as of December, it sounds like he will be done at the company. And that is something that I'm not sure a lot of people expected to transpire. Now, in addition to all of this, you know, the official Xbox account is tweeting out this fun little trailer that they put together celebrating the transition. We'll take a look. Let's see if I got everything set up properly. I probably don't. Yeah, I don't. So I'll turn on the audio here really quick. I have things switched on the middle. and then turn it down a little bit. But long story short, you can see that they've put together this, this really, really fun trailer celebrating the fact that Activision Blizzard King has in fact join the company and i don't know where the audio levels lie but it includes shots from games like call of duty you know we just saw forza there's tony hawk sea of thieves i don't know what game that is diablo <laughs> i think that's overwatch but one of the games that they showed that kind of surprised me was they showed sekiro and you know i believe this is world of warcraft or at least warcraft um i love the beats that they hit with this it's very uplifting Everybody at Activision seems very excited. Everybody at Blizzard seems really excited about the transition. And in addition to this, uh, Lulu Chang with Servi also put out uh, her own trailer, which is a little bit different. I don't know if this is just something that Activision had put together internally, but let, let's take a look at that really quick. So it's kind of cool because they show the origins of the company and sort of the, the evolution of the games that they worked on. <laughs> or built together and uh it is nice to see everybody sort of happy about the deal being closed for the most part at least the 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 people at microsoft and the people at activision seem quite happy we'll go through some employee tweets in just a little bit here but i'll link to both of these in the description so you can watch them in their appropriate manner with you know sound on and everything like that without me talking over it but let me stop that for just a second because we got more to go through this all started off last night when you know some of us noticed that activision shares have been halted and if you look up here it says some stock exchanges not robin hood have temporarily halted trading of activision blizzard king uh shortly thereafter i was asleep but brad smith said we're grateful for the cma's thorough review and decision today we have now crossed the final regulatory hurdle to close this acquisition, which we believe will benefit players and the gaming industry worldwide. Uh, lots of interesting stuff to dive into there, but let's just go over to Phil Spencer. Here's what Phil Spencer had posted. Today is a good day to play. We officially welcome Activision Blizzard King to Team Xbox. Together, we'll create stories and experiences that build players together in a culture empowering 
everyone to do their best work and celebrate diverse perspectives. To the millions of fans who love Activision Blizzard and King Games, we know that you are the heart and soul of these franchises, and we're honored to have you as part of our community. Whether you play on Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo, PC, or mobile, you're always welcome here, even if Xbox isn't where you play your favorite franchise. I think that's an important line because when everyone plays, we all win. Uh, good note from Phil Spencer. And you, if you start looking, if you just look at the image that they have there as the thumbnail, Activision Blizzard King joins Xbox and you look at the slate of games they have. Sea of Thieves, Overwatch, Starfield, Tony Hawk, Candy Crush, Doom, Fallout, Starcraft, Crash Bandicoot, Elder Scrolls, Halo, Forza, COD, Senua Saga, Warcraft, Diablo, Flight Simulator, Minecraft. They just have a amazing, amazing lineup of games now on the Xbox library. And um, I, I think it is going to give them a very interesting spot to set a foundation about where they are today and then build from here. I kind of hope that the acquisitions do slow down at this point. I think right now, Xbox and Activision are on an even playing field with Sony and PlayStation in terms of IP that they have to work with. And I, I do think that both are in a pretty good spot to move forward from here and really go toe to toe with each other. But we'll see what happens with the industry right now. The industry has been very shaky the last several months, and it's going to be interesting to see where it goes from, from here. Uh, Clobril apparently put together this image that Tom Warren had printed out. You got the, all the Xbox Game Studios over here. I'm kind of covering it up, but it, on the edge there, it's like 343 in Exile, Obsidian, The Coalition, Undead Labs, World Edge, Perfect Dark, Playground Games, um, and all the, the companies. You got Bethesda here. You have the all the Call of Duty related studios, right? Call of Duty, Toys for Bob, High Moon, Beanox, Beanox, who like worked on Spider-Man games in the past. You have all of these Blizzard games all around the globe who work on titles like StarCraft, World of Warcraft, and then you have King making all of the mobile versions of many of those games. Uh, Seventeen thousand employees. And Activision Blizzard King, it's it's pretty, pretty crazy. And all this kicked off. I have so many different things open, but uh, all this kicked off when the CMA said, we've cleared the new deal for Microsoft to buy Activision without cloud gaming rights. Without cloud gaming rights. Okay, got it. In August, Microsoft made a concession that would see Ubisoft instead of Microsoft buy Activision's cloud gaming rights. Read more. And there's another tweet below here. This new deal will stop Microsoft from locking up competition in cloud gaming, preserving competitive prices and services for UK cloud gamers. Read more. And then you got Red Dragon spreading some doom and gloom down there. Uh, and then there was one last thing, I suppose. This was an email Bobby sent to all employees. Activision Blizzard CEO sent this to everybody. Today, the CMA, the regulatory authority in the UK, approved our transaction with Microsoft. Now We now have all regulatory approvals necessary to close, and we look forward to bringing joy and connection to even more players around the world. Our board chair, Brian Kelly, and I are incredibly proud of all you and your accomplishments over the last four decades, of all of you and your accomplishments over the last four decades. We're excited for our next chapter together with, chapter together with Microsoft and the endless possibilities it creates for you and for our players. With gratitude, Bobby. Tons, tons and tons of emails and press releases and announcements. You know, we have some employees here. Uh, Lulu Ching with Servi said uh, basically GG's. Mike Abara tweeted the following. Today marks an incredible milestone for Blizzard Entertainment. As we team up with Xbox, the best is yet to come. Fist bump party. <laughs> Fist bump emoji party emoji. And uh, uh, Josh Muncy. Josh Muncy works at Director of Integrated Marketing. He says, exciting things to come for Xbox gamers. You know, I think over the next several months, we're going to see a big announcement about what games are going to be coming to Game Pass, how this is going to impact the Xbox lineup in the years to come. And we already have the leaked documents about what was potentially coming next year. You start adding Call of Duty into that, and that revenue is going to start going right back into Microsoft. This is Microsoft's a powerhouse now. Um, 
There was no denying it. And Sony is a powerhouse, which is great. Nintendo is a powerhouse. I think these three companies are now able to compete on a very even playing field. And I hope Sony continues to do what they're doing because I do love a lot of Sony games. I hope that Microsoft continues to do what they do and allow Activision Blizzard King to do what they do because as much as I complain about some of the strategies that Activision Blizzard King has implemented, I do like a lot of their games at the end of the day. And I hope some of those uh, like loot boxy type things that they've been doing start to wane as that is hopefully no longer necessary in the years to come. But we will see. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Thank you for joining me on this journey. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell to learn more about Xbox things that happen and my take on the industry. I I doubt that we're done with this. I think in November we still have the FTC case. So there will still be a few follow-ups. But this is the end. It's done. Microsoft has announced they've acquired the company. And it's going to be interesting to see what transpires from here. Like, what is the FTC even going to do at this point? It closed in every, where, every other location in the world. What are you even going to do? Anyway, um, thanks for watching, everybody. I don't know what else to say. Thank you to the members. Thank you to the members for supporting this channel. I really, really do appreciate you. Click that join button if you want to become a member and support this channel as I will continue making content. Uh, it's not like I stop because the Activision Blizzard things happens. That that happened like a year into the channel. I was just talking about Xbox stuff until then. This has just been such a, a cool story to follow. And thank you for joining me for the journey. Check out the bizarre things that transpired yesterday because a lot of it could impact the next few weeks if you didn't see that video yet, and I'll see you for the next one. Bye for now, everybody.